Hey, Collective. Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Shout out to the entire YouTube fam. Shout out to everyone that has booked um, a personal reading. Everyone that has donated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the love and the support. See, what is this message for the collective? What is this message for the collective? We have resistance here. Um, also, the number 22 could be significant. Um, maybe you're seeing 22 or you're seeing uh, 222 here. But we have resistance, okay? Uh, with miracles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you need to allow something to um, unfold, allow something to happen. I feel like you need to uh, fully surrender here, okay? Um, it's kind of like, I feel like you scared you're going to mess something up. You may have stumbled, okay? But it's like today is a new day, okay? You have to be able to show up for yourself, okay? Okay. Um, I feel like you could possibly be ghosting your own dreams. Um, you, It's like you're resisting your own magic. Again, what did I say? It's kind of like you needing to fully surrender, okay? Um, resistance keep you stuck. Resistance create... Um, re well, I'll just say resistance um, allows you to become stagnant, okay? Okay. Um, stop holding back, stop worrying, stop pretending, um, because it's like perfection will never come. Okay. I feel like when it comes to you stepping in your greatness, again, resistance, uh, keeps you stuck. Resistance, uh, blocks growth, uh, resistance blocks creativity, uh, resistance blocks evolution. Uh, resistance looks like procrastination. It looks like, uh, laziness. It looks like, um, excuses, disorganization, uh, some sort of lack of motivation, uh, that you may have. I feel like, again, you're resisting the force that you are. Again, you're, you're blocking your own magic. So for some of you, it's like, you're not growing here. You're um, hindering yourself, okay? And we have, wow, guys, the number 22 and 23 came out here. We have a rage. We have a rage here with storms at the bottom. So I feel like, again, this is your energy collective. There have been storms, okay? There have been obstacles, there have been trials and tribulations, and I feel like you have this built-up rage inside of you, some sort of hurt, some sort of pain, but it's like you you have to turn your pain into power, turn your pain into passion, allow your pain uh, to fuel the fire, okay? I feel like you could be holding on to some sort of hurt, some sort of pain, some sort of grief, uh, some sort of loss, some sort of disappointment here. But this is hindering you. This is hindering your evolution. Yeah, we got betrayal here. We have betrayal. Again, somebody hurt you. You experience, I'm picking up a ten of swords energy. Somebody could have stabbed you in the back. Again, somebody betrayed you in some kind of way that caused you some sort of pain. But this is affecting you yet. Yeah, Want to split here, soul forgiveness. This is affecting your growth. This is affecting your spiritual evolution. You have to let go of the hurt, let go of the pain here. There was something that you experienced collective. And again, this is uh this is affecting your growth. This is affecting your spiritual growth. 
Whoa, so I got too many that came out. Hold on, a lot of energies. What else is it that the collective needs to know? We got naked here. This um, was just at the bottom of the deck. Wow, it's so forgiveness. Again, guys, yeah, I feel like you need to forgive. It's, it's somebody that you need to forgive, okay? Somebody has have hurt you in the past, but you holding on to this pain, you holding on to this grudge, um, it's stopping your growth. It's stopping you from evolving. It's stopping you from receiving what God have for you. Uh, it's like um, you need to allow yourself to be vulnerable here in this naked energy. This is about vulnerability here. Yeah, because it's like... I was telling my sister basically kind of like, again, don't allow past relationships that didn't work out, okay? Don't re don't allow um, hurt and pain, okay, to clout your judgment when it comes to new relationships or new love okay love is the highest vibration you have to allow yourself to be vulnerable okay i'm also picking up um i'm also picking up an energy where um you it's like you're uh, avoiding this emotional nakedness, okay? This is actually your superpower, you being vulnerable, you being emotionally naked. Um, is It basically means you being vulnerable enough for the real you to shine, okay? Uh, vulnerability is a strength. It is not a weakness. Um, you may need to practice being transparent, okay? Um... I feel like you need to have the courage to feel and express your feelings without pleasing people. Speak your truth. Share your story, okay? Um, become comfortable with feeling uncomfortable, okay? And making others uncomfortable. What did I say? Sometimes you're going to have to step on people's toes. Everybody is not going to like what you say. Everybody is not going to agree with what you say. Yeah, cause, because some of you, you may feel like you being vulnerable is like your, is a weakness, you know, and it's not, this is your strength. You have to learn, again, it's like stepping stones or building blocks I'm picking up. You have to learn, how, you know, take one step and keep pushing forward. Build on top of what you have. And we have alchemy here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you're a magician. You are a real life al uh, alchemist here. You have the ability to transmute energy, okay? You can transmute this negative energy and turn it positive. What did I say? Being vulnerable is not uh, a weakness. This is a strength. So some of you, you need to tap. What did, what did we first talk about? Resistance. You blocking your own magic. Alchemy is all about uh magic here real life magic okay i'm not talking about dark magic i'm not talking about nothing crazy this is real life magic here an alchemist i'm a real life magician you have the ability to transmute energy you can turn a negative situation positive what did i say stepping stones building blocks this is you working with what you got you stepping into your magic you uh, understanding who you are. You understand um, your, your strengths. And then you understand your weaknesses here. So for some of you, you need to learn how to transmute this energy. You need to transmute this negative energy and you need to turn it positive. Make it work out in your favor. Yeah, we got secrets revealed, okay, with surrender here. 
secrets revealed, but I'm getting this is good secrets with surrender here. This is you becoming awakened to who you are. This is you receiving this divine intelligence, okay? I'm picking up a high priestess energy, a high priest energy with secrets revealed and alchemy here. And surrender again. Collective, this is you. I feel like you need to fully surrender to your purpose. You need to fully, you know, walk in your in your purpose. And I feel like God is revealing something to you at this time, okay, about you, about your magic, okay, about your uh, spiritual gifts, okay, your talents, uh, abilities that you hold here. Yeah, we have giving and receiving. This is giving me six of pinnacle energy with miracles here. Giving and receiving, equal give, equal share. I also feel like, um, yeah, this is the number 10, okay? Uh, I feel like there's a cycle that is uh, completing. You're completing some sort of cycle here. Yeah, giving and receiving. This is talking about um, alignment, truth, and balance here. For somebody, you are out of alignment here. Um, it's like if you have been receiving right without giving, you selfish. You are out of alignment. If you give without receiving, you are um, out of alignment, okay? Giving and receiving. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, God is revealing um, something to you guys. Something about spiritual law. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spiritual law is being revealed to you collective, okay? Because this is God trying to bring you into alignment. Giving and receiving is spiritual law, okay? And it's spell work. Some of that, that's going to go over some of y'all head, just like I said um, in a past reading, okay? The words that you speak, you can cast the spell on somebody from speaking something. Spell work does not always have to be, um, you know, dark magic, okay? It does not. Um, you should be giving time, money, service, uh, resources, and good energy, good vibes. I feel like if you are a generous giver, um, you cultivate a practice of receiving, okay? Um, receiving is also a sacred, a feminine principle, okay, that makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Um, but you can receive anything. You can receive compliments. You can receive joy, support, uh, money, love, pleasure. They, are, they all are same to the spirit. So if you are a giver, right, you don't have to physically receive money or a gift or something from someone else. You can receive someone's love. You can be open and receiving to someone's support. Some of you guys need to uh, practice this affirmation. I give easily and freely, okay? I receive freely and easily, okay? Somebody is out of alignment. God is trying to bring you into alignment. God is awakening you. Yes, secrets revealed with alchemy here. God is awakening you to your spiritual gifts. Again, God is awakening you to... Um, your magic and with it vulnerable here you in this vulnerable energy uh this is a great energy where um when you're vulnerable right like where magic can happen miracles miracles uh can manifest here when you're vulnerable this is you being open 
This is you being open, okay? And God needs you open to move. God needs you open to manifest things in your life. I'm being led to pull from um another deck. Let me grab it really quick. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Let's pull from this deck. Let's see what are the other messages here. Yeah, we have healing at the bottom. So God is definitely trying to heal you, okay? Remember nakedness, vulnerability here. You being open. What did I say? Creates uh, an environment for God to come in and work. God to come in and heal. messages for the collective we got skill we have skill here with superstition wow what did i say some of you have some sort of psychic ability there is a special skill that you have there is um you know, again, some sort of talent, some sort of gift. There's an ability, a spiritual gift I'm really picking up on with superstition here that you have that you need to tap into. You're holding yourself back. It's falling on resistance here. Again, there is a, a special skill set that you hold, okay? Um, something is, I don't know, um, again, a gift, a skill, a talent, but I'm picking up, um, this is some sort of spiritual connection to something with whatever skill this is that you have. You are holding yourself back. You are um, hindering yourself. I also feel like you cannot spiritually elevate. Like, for instance, for some of you, this is going to be a spiritual gift, right? that you have here that you're supposed to be tapped into you can't fully tap into this gift because you're hindering yourself whoa that one wanted to fall, fall right out we have vision here we have a vision here for some of you i feel like um God is showing you something. We remember secrets revealed. God is is revealing things to you with vision here. This could be in your sleep, in your dreams. This could come through your third eye. You could receive um a download through your crown chakra here. But again, I feel like with vision, guys, it's something that God is showing you. Or it's something that God has shown you, okay? It's almost like, um, again, yeah, uh, third eye vision is what I'm picking up on. I feel like your life is requiring some sort of deeper analysis here, collective. Um, you're attempting to sort through some things and you're dissecting either the past or the present here. Um... It's like the solution is right in your eyes, but you can't see it. Again, you are hindering yourself. 
You're missing the signs that God is giving you. You're missing the secrets that God is revealing to you. I feel like you need to make sure you investigate all possibilities when you're decision making, okay? Um, view the situation from every angle, okay? Um, but also your third eye is being activated here. Your third eye is being awakened. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut instinct, okay, when navigating because the truth will guide you, okay? The truth will guide you here. Again, your third eye is being awakened here. You're being activated. Somebody is going through a spiritual initiation. Courage and then humor here with connectivity. And courage is falling right on top of betrayal here. So I'm picking up on... Um, Kind of like uh, Leo energy. Okay, Leo energy here. Let me show you this really quick again with this courage here. I feel like there is... Um, I feel like there is... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like... Courage. This is also giving me bravery, uh, conviction. Um, I feel like don't allow others to easily intimidate you, okay? You're going to have to muster up the courage here, okay? Don't be become easily intimidated by others. You have the bravery, okay, to enter into this new cycle of your life. What did I say? I'm picking up real card energy, um, the number 10. There was something is completed, okay? Or you're nearing completion when it comes to, to entering this new cycle. There are changes, okay? Um, and you may be concerned about them, but don't be apprehensive, Um I feel like you just really need to honor your inner strength, okay? Honor your inner strength. Roll with the punches. Hold your head high. You know, because you're going to have to... Um, life isn't going to... It's not going to be smooth selling your entire life. You have to learn how to... Um, you have to learn how to... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, whether whatever storms that come your way you're gonna have to figure it out but you have the courage here you have the bravery and then with this um with this humor here okay this is definitely your energy collective okay this is definitely your energy uh humor so what I'm picking up from uh from this collective is almost kind of like I'm picking up something around creativity, joy, positivity with humor here. Um Don't be so serious, okay? Don't be so serious. Um laugh more. I feel like you need to smile more, embrace the good. Everybody experienced bad, but what is what is the good things that you have experienced, okay, that you can embrace? Um joyful moments, okay? Um but again, it's kind of like laughter is the best medicine. 
laughter is the best medicine somebody needs to laugh a little more this is gonna we got connectivity here this is gonna um help you come into alignment here yeah this is gonna be a strength for you to be able to laugh more this is gonna put, place you in a better energy is what i'm picking up Yeah, we got change. Wow, we just talked about change uh, with the humor card. I said there there could be some sort of change that you're experiencing at this time. Again, change is here. This is confirmation. There has been a shift. There has been a shift, okay? And we have knowledge here. We have knowledge here with inspiration. I feel like this is you, Collective. Uh, filled with this knowledge, okay? I feel like there is a lot of knowledge within you uh, where you're going to inspire a lot of people or you're being inspired at this time to make some sort of change. Yeah, you're, um, God is revealing your potential to you. Again, secrets reveal your potential, your potential, excuse me, uh, is being revealed to you. Yes, wow, we have versatility here, guys, with innovation. Wow, dope energy. What did I say? God is revealing <laughs> you to you, basically. Wow, this is dope energy with versatility here. So basically with versatility, guys, this is kind of, this is kind of putting me in an energy where I kind of feel like um, I kind of feel like um, you're again you're being awakened to who you are. You're being awakened to your spiritual gifts. Uh, you're going through a spiritual initiation. You're being activated right now. I feel like this is you in this versatility energy. This is you um that is very versatile in a sense or god is trying to show you how diverse you are i feel like um you may need to switch something up you may need to do something different um you might be wanting to take up a new hobby start journaling start youtubing um it's something different, change and versatility here. You are about to embark on a new journey here. It's something new you are about to do. There is some sort of change, but again, you are very diverse. You are very diverse here. I see you diversifying your life portfolio. You switching something up. You doing something different. Something is being woke up in you. Something is dormant. Whatever, I think it's this skill. Whatever skill this is, thank you, Holy Spirit. We we came back to the beginning of the reading. Whatever this skill is that you haven't fully tapped into because, again, you're holding yourself back, you're getting ready to come from out of this phase. You're completing a cycle, okay? Again, you're going through a spiritual awakening some sort of activation here there is some sort of change that is about to happen um you are about to see how diverse you really are you are about to tap into something that you never thought you would tap into but this is god this is god showing you you this is god revealing these uh secrets to you about you Again, collective, I'm I'm really heavy in this energy where you are about to tap into something that you've never tapped into before. This is a spiritual gift. There is a gift that you have, okay, that you are about to tap into. I feel like you really didn't know how diverse you are, but it's like God is about to show you. God is awakening uh, things in you here and let me just clarify these before we 
close out this reading. Um, see, can we pull a little more information here? Let's see, can we pull a little more information, guys? And I'm being led to actually pull from, um, let's pull from the Star Seed Oracle for this. Because this has to do with some sort of spiritual gift here. And let me find my other deck. I'm being led to pull from like two other decks here. So we'll pull from this really quick first, okay? This. Why is change here? What is this change for the collective? Why is change here? Why is change here for the collective? All right, why is the versatility here for the collective? Wow, so I got too many on this, okay? I'm going to keep them since they all came out. All right, so let's see with uh, change. Wow, we have justice, guys. Your career brings fairness and protection to help others who need it. I'm also uh, seeing the word humanitarian here. There's some sort of, whatever change this is, um, this is around your career, okay? The justice card energy, basically. You're about to receive some sort of justice. Um, again, this is good karma here. Whatever change this is, but this is around your career. You're going to use your spiritual gift to make money. This is around your career, this change here. You may be um, helping people again. You may be bringing fairness and protection to others who need your help. Or maybe you might jump into tarot. Who knows? You know, maybe you're going to conduct readings to uh, assist people, okay, who need uh, certain help, certain guidance here. But whatever this is, this is around um, your career, okay? There's a spiritual gift that has been activated or you're going through an awakening. This gift is being activated in you at this time. There's about to be some sort of career change, okay? Again, you are about to see how diverse you are. <clears throat> and with versatility here, we have leadership. Take charge of the situation. So somebody could be coming into some sort of leadership role, some sort of position where you're going to be in charge of others, okay? And then we have body work here, um, energy healing, um, okay? This is what I'm picking up on. For some of you, you're going to be tapping into this uh, energy healing. I did a reading on this the other day. That's confirmation for somebody. Somebody have a gift of energy healing, right? And the, the reading was about you not knowing you have the ability to do this type of work until it's time for you to use your gift. When you get ready to use it, this is when you're going to find out you have it. And I'm kind of picking up on this again in this reading here with versatility here. We have body work for energy healing and then we have sensitivity. You're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. This is because you've been spiritually awakened. You're going through a spiritual activation. Your kundalini uh, is rising at this time. But again, for somebody, this is definitely um, some sort of energy healing work that you are going to do, that you are going to uh, 
tap into here again versatility it's something about you very versatile it's something about you very versatile i feel like there could be multiple things that you tap into here energy healing okay there could be some sort of leadership role okay and then again just some sort of career change that i see taking place here you somebody you, somebody may start their own practice of energy healing mas massage therapy physical therapy um something that involves body work here but with sensitivity this is energy healing do you see the crystals here Somebody is called again to do some sort of energy healing work. This is why earlier in the reading, what we saw, uh, we talked about being vulnerable, your vulnerability. When you're in that vulnerable energy, um, you're open. And again, you have to learn how to use um, these things to your strengths. Again, you're an alchemist, you're a magician. You have the ability to transmute energy here. I'm just going to get one card from here and then close out this reading. Let's get one card. These are two that came out. Um, well, three came out. I'll keep them, okay? Um, we have deep cellular he healing, physical and emotional healing. We just talked about this. This is confirmation. Somebody is going to be doing some sort of energy healing work. This is a spiritual gift that you have to do some sort of energy healing, okay? And we have the seven star sisters, birthing creations, okay? Expressions, uh, tapestry of life here, Um let me see if I can get this information for you. Yeah, the seven star sisters. Um, you're being called to surrender here to this creative project or a new business or a book. Um, you're being called to, again, this is you tapping into your spiritual gift here. You're being called to surrender again, ultimately to your purpose collective. Something about creativity. Somebody, you're you're birthing again some sort of new creation surrounding creativity here. It's going to require you uh, to be creative. This is the card of the artist, of an artist and a midwife here. Something is being birthed through you. There is, um, some of you are getting into beauty or something like that, okay? Your, your spiritual gift is around beauty. Something that you're going to do within beauty here. But you're tapped into creativity and artistry here. So basically, I'm picking up, like, it's like, Creativity and intuition come from the same place. For some of you, it's like you forgot how to create or you stopped creating. And, and this is being awakened in you. Yeah, we have a new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. We saw the vision card earlier. Keep holding the vision. Whatever it is that God is showing you, okay? It is happening for you here. It is happening for you, collective. I feel like you need to keep focusing on your dreams. Keep focusing on your um aspirations here. You are a big dreamer, okay? Something you've been working so long for is almost here. I'm hearing uh, don't question yourself and do not waver.
something is uh growing and something is blossoming here um you're gonna be able to sit back and watch it blossom sit back and watch it grow just go ahead and i'm telling you allow yourself to be spiritually led allow god to divinely lead you because i feel like um you have planted some seeds here okay again i just talked about um something blossoming something growing okay you've already laid the foundation for whatever this is and you may not even know it whatever you're doing whether it's praying or meditating um continue to do it continue to do it do not give up something is happening for you this could be a new project, a new job, something new that you're creating. Keep going, okay? Keep going, okay? Again, keep holding the vision. And again, secrets revealed. I feel like God is revealing a lot to you because it's all the mindset. You manifest uh, what you're thinking, the law of attraction. Again, God is revealing things to you because God is bringing you into alignment with his vision with your purpose so i hope this message resonated guys i'm gonna close the reading out here if it did please leave a thumbs up okay if you would like to book a personal reading uh the information is in the description below thank you